Hello and welcome to Well With Dell. Today on the show, we're gonna talk about motorcycle ergonomics. One thing we wanna make sure that you have, you wanna enjoy your motorcycle, but you wanna make sure that you stay safe first and foremost. And also, you wanna make sure that you're keeping your spine healthy as you enjoy your ride. Now they say that when you start to see the flowers come out and the trees blooming, that that's the sign of spring. But we know sign of spring in my town where they have the blessing of the bikes. In fact, it's this April 16th at Murraysville Alliance Church. When they have the blessing of the bikes and you hear the motorcycles roar, that's when you know that spring is right around the corner. So today we're gonna to talk about how can you enjoy your ride and stay safe. Here is Motorcycle Ergonomics 101. First, we wanna sit upright and maintain an upright posture. We wanna bend forward slightly five degrees. We wanna make sure that our hands are lower than our elbows when we're riding. We want our knees to be bent at approximately 100 degrees. And keeping this posture places a minimum strain on the joints and increases circulation throughout the body. Now this will change slightly whenever you're on a long distance ride. We're gonna to wanna to extend your legs a little bit more and be a little bit more comfortable in your posture, a little bit more upright. We can go from 100 sort of to 90 degrees of, of perfectly upright flexion. Uh, but we wanna make sure, once again, we have our hands out in a comfortable position to minimize potential carpal tunnel strain, um, to potentially uh, eliminate lower back pain and neck pain. The one thing that we do not want to do, we don't want to be over forward in a hunch posture. Well, that might feel comfortable as you lean forward at first, that's not going to be ideal for your spinal health. Uh, the other thing we want to do is we want to make sure outside of our ride, we want to make sure that we're working on our core strength. We want to do crunches, we want to do sit-ups, we want to do some exercises that are going to help with the core strength. It's going to be very, very important. Now, riding alone will also help with your core strength as long as you're using a good posture. If you're bent over forward and you're leaning on your handlebars, um, that's not going to help your core strength, it's not going to help your back. It's going to take away the curvature uh, of the lower back. If we lose the curvature of the lower back, it puts more pressure on the discs. So now as you hit those potholes, those natural shock absorbers that are built into our spine uh, to allow for that cushioning in between the bones is going to be, um, uh, can be further aggravated if we're not sitting upright and having the proper curvature in our lower back. So one of the devices that we have, let me put my glasses back on here, is this is an air cushion that you can put on your seat. It's gonna help support you a little bit more. It's gonna take less stress and strain when you do hit those bumpy parts of the road. Um, but it's not gonna be so high that you're gonna lose control of the bike. Uh, so this is just gonna give you a little bit of support. You blow this up and then while you're sitting, you deflate it to just the perfect amount of pressure, the perfect amount of air that you want in here. So it is gonna be added support for your back without making you feel like you're too high and wobbly on the bike. So these are great. This one is called the Airhawk. Very good device uh, to, to help with the posture and help with your spinal health. So a few other things that you can do to make sure that your ride is more enjoyable. It's what you're doing when you're not on the bike. So we've talked about before, good spinal health. See a chiropractor that takes time with you and gives you exercises to do at home. A great thing that we know and we've talked about in the past on the show is making sure that the neck curvature is good. So good cervical extension exercises as well as posture control with the shoulders. We wanna make sure if you're in the gym, we wanna make sure we're spending a little bit more time on the back as opposed to the chest and the front compartment. We wanna do seated rows more. We wanna do uh, the reverse flies and also lat pull downs are very good for our back. Um, more so than necessarily doing the chest, uh, the biceps, where we're always like this uh, throughout the course of our day. So you wanna try to do an extra set or two uh, in the back, which will really help out as well. We talked about the core earlier in the show. We wanna make sure that our core strength is very good. Once again, to make sure that we're having a nicer bike ride. If we're taking a longer trip, uh, the seat cushion that we had talked about before helps you ride longer more pleasant experience because it's less stress and strain on your back. I think if you use that, you'll really find your ride's gonna be, especially the longer rides, are gonna be more enjoyable for you. So as always, we thank you for watching our show. Please like us, it really helps us out. And more importantly, if you could subscribe or share it with a friend or somebody that you know that has a bike, we would love it. So thanks again for watching us and happy trails and we'll see you soon.